all racehorses have a universal birthday on January 1st. That way the record keeping for our standard breads ages can remain easy. With that being said, when a horse turns age 15 with the turn of the new year, the rules from the United States Trotting Association says a horse must retire and can no longer be allowed to compete. So Post Time would like to honor a couple of veteran 14-year-old horses who were regulars on our Delmarva circuit last year and recently retired with the turn of the calendar. First, let's recognize Complete Desire. This recently turned 15-year-old retired with 243 starts, 32 wins, 29 seconds, and 28 thirds. He earned almost $350,000 and took a lifetime best of 151 and 3. Owned and trained by Eugene Start, he recently made his final start at Dover Downs in December. And after the race, this son of life sign was presented a special blanket and lots of carrots as a thank you for thrilling fans over the years and as a send off into retirement. Congratulations, complete desire. And another older warrior to recognize who just retired at the end of 2020 is You Want a Piece of Me. This trotter raced from 2009 when he was two years old through 2020 when he was 14. The son of SJ's photo, who was bought by George and Tina Dennis at a sale in Lexington, Kentucky for $7,500 hung up his harness with 399 starts, 52 victories, 51 seconds, and 49 thirds. He made over $455,000. And when it comes to eye-opening performances, trainer Joe Colombo has one he remembers in particular. Probably his lifetime mark he set when he was 10, 54 flat out here at Dover. He really didn't, usually he likes to be on the front and that night he actually come off the pace. He had the rail and got away third or fourth or something come and he come smoking on the end and got up, set his lifetime mark. Out three wide, you want a piece of me? They straighten away. It's still, I like my boss with the lead. Here comes a move from you want a piece of me to go by and draw off. You want a piece of me. Mike Cole, George and Tina Dennis's son, has been driving You Want a Piece of Me in more recent years. And he says this trotter has defied father time with a couple special personality traits. Yeah, he's a tough horse. He's, he knows what he's doing. He takes care of himself, you know, throughout all the years. That's why he's had so many wins, seconds and thirds. I believe he had over 50 wins, 50 seconds and almost 50 thirds to be in a lot of starts. Um, a horse that can do that takes care of themselves. Very smart, gutty horses, and they do it year in and year out. That's what makes him a tough racehorse. He does what he wants to do. You can put him in the position, because he can leave fast, but he honestly, you can just sit in the back of the cart, and he takes himself around there. Like literally, if you look in all the races, the lines are flopping. Um, you don't have to put your hands in the handholds. You know, it's kind of awkward to sit in the bike, because he's really not holding you in there. You're just, you're just the rider on him, and he's doing his job. Having raced for 13 years, You Want a Piece of Me has been a familiar face and a fan favorite. And of course, around the stable, he's been a character and a joy to have. Around the barn, honestly, um, he's the best trainer we have. I mean, for being an old man, um, his attitude's amazing. His ears are always up. He looks like a field horse, just lets me retire and do whatever. So when you train him at home, nobody can beat him training. The best trainer. And come to the track, he just takes care of himself. It's 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 kind of annoying, but I just I think it's just him telling us, hey, look, it's my time to it's my time to retire. Yeah, he's just a classy old horse. He he's like an old man's horse. Anybody could jog him, train him, drive him. Really, I drove him one time. He's two fingers, does whatever you want. He's pushed to start, really, and he does anything you want him to do. He's a pleasure. He he doesn't do anything wrong, really. He just stand. You could do anything you want with him. I mean, he, he really is like a classy old horse. He'd, he'd be a great first horse for somebody to take care of. I mean, jogs just as easy as any horse in the barn, and he'll let you do anything you want to him. Now that he's starting a new chapter of being retired, what's life have in store for him? 
He does with the rest of the retired horses that my mom, George, and Tina, Dennis have. Um, they uh, just turn them on the field. They get round bales every couple days, fresh water every day, feed, and just eat up grass, do nothing. Right now, he's just living his good life. He's chilling at the barn, goes outside every day. You know, three square meals a day, all the hay he can eat. I mean, I'm not sure what he's going to do from here, but he'll have a home for life. Thank you to You Want a Piece of Me and all of those horses in harness racing who have been a part of our sport and recently hung up their harnesses. Post Time wishes you all a very happy retirement.